this unboxing and toy haul video. Uh, it's been a while since I've done one of these videos, so I've got a pretty good stack to go through. Uh, one of the first things to start off with is I got my, my third party Masterpiece style Transformers. I got my FT Thomas, which is like a Masterpiece Astro Train. Dune Runner, which is their version of Beachcomber. I got the X Transmots Boost, which is their version of Wind Charger. And I got the FT Sheridan, FT 41. This is my newest one. It's uh, their version of Warpath. I'm looking forward to opening this one up. I already haven't already opened these two up, uh, these up, but uh, I did off camera. I actually got them on the shelf back here. And uh, keeping in the Transformers line, I got the Earthrise Snapdragon. I already got the eight face from the previous uh, War for Cybertron series. And I got the fast track to go with my Scorponok. And that's all for the Transformers this week. Let's go ahead and go to the My Hero Academia. GameStop was running their sale on their, some of their My Hero Academia figures. And I got a McFarlane All Might. Let's see. And I got another one of the Ben Presto statues of All Might. And, oh, and for I forget, let's go ahead and just do a quick little close-up of the boxes for the fans' toys. That's a, they have such nice packaging. I love fans' toys figures. Their packaging is really nice where they do the embossed. Embossing on the fo uh, photo photography on the front and the back. And embossed on the names. Nice photography of the figures on the back. And same way with uh, Dune Runner. You can see the nice embossed imagery. And product images on the back. And then I did get a, go to uh, local Ollie's. Don't have any connection to, to this series, but I just thought these were cool looking figures. And maybe just add them on the shelf as is, or maybe it'd be some good co custom fodder. I got the Overwatch. Uh, who is this character? I've never played this game with McCree. It's a cool looking cowboy character. And I got the Zarya. Like a big muscle down mech armor wearing looking character. Uh, like I said, I've never played the game, so I don't really know much about the characters. And keeping with the Ollies, we switched over to Marvel Legends. I did pick up a Luke Cage, Claire uh, Tibble two pack set. This one's Crunch, but I mean, I already have this set. I bought it back when it came out. But I figured it'd be good for a custom fodder for later on. And I got a package from Hasbro Pulse. I got the, the Toxin figure. Using the Monster Venom body. Looks pretty good. And we got the... I got another copy of the Movie Venom figure. This is a great figure. I just ended up getting... A, didn't, I found one in the store. Then this one I got had on pre-order. I decided to keep the pre-order because it's just a great looking figure. Uh, Amazon. You have a, it's easy to have a love-hate relationship with Amazon. One, you'll get the figures, but if you like the packaging whatsoever, just don't order Amazon from Amazon. I ordered this for a buddy of mine. I have the original uh, from the Lizard Wave. Is it Lizard Wave? Did the material come out? Yeah, I think so. But the, I ordered this for my, my friend, and he likes to keep his stuff in on card. They put this in a box plenty big enough for the figure, they turn it sideways just so they could curl the car. It's ridiculous. It's a, it's a gorgeous figure, but I can understand why I keep it onto the card too, because the retro cards are so nice. But they made a, a good bit of damage to the car. They even broke the spine of the box. Such a shame. 
which they did uh, pull, uh, pull through with me though with getting the new Joe Fixit figures, which I don't keep. I don't keep my stuff in boxes for my Marvel Legends anyway. My um, LP figures, my Masterpiece Transformers, I like good packaging for those. But most of my Marvel Legends, unless there's some kind of exclusive box set, I don't normally keep the packaging. Like my Hellfire Club, I keep in the packaging of it, but a few other exclusives like that. But for standard release figures, I just usually pitch the packaging. But I got the new Kang. It looks really good. Comes with the leg. Interesting, the soliciting shows Kang and the Falcon coming with the arms. But in reality, they come with the legs. They show the Game Reverse Iron Man and the Game Reverse Captain America that's listed with the legs, but they actually come with the arms. That's kind of strange. But on the back of the packaging, it's correctly listed. It'll focus. There it is. I also got to Jacosta, also from Amazon. She's such a great looking figure and I'm glad to see them reuse the Moonstone body, at least parts of it. Such an underutilized figure, uh, base figure for characters. Uh, most superheroes should be on like very athletic looking bodies and where you got the, the extra muscle detail definition. They do so many female characters on like really thin, spindly legs. It's like, if you're a superhero fighting crime, you should be in the best shape of your life, not have, have no muscle whatsoever. It's looking, I had looking forward to adding her to the shelf. The same with the, the new Falcon. This is a great looking Falcon. I didn't, before I got these, I ended up just, as soon as I seen these solicited, I threw my old Kang and other Falcon up on eBay. So there's no point keeping those old Toy Biz. Well, the Kang was a early uh, Hasbro, but the Toy Biz Falcon was just so ugly compared to these new figures. Would have been unless I had a Red Wing come with this one, but hopefully maybe later on. And also got to, also from Amazon, I got the Thunderstrike. So they use it uses uh, some of the 80th anniversary Thor parts with the arms and stuff, but uh, would have loved had a neutral face for Thunderstrike. So we're stuck with a screaming head. Um, I would assume what they done, they just whoever was in the design team just Googled Thunderstrike, and the first picture you see is issue number one, the cover of issue number one, where he's screaming just like that. So that's what they went with. <laughs> um, he does, is reusing the, uh, what's his name? From the New Warriors. Uh, the name's blanking on me. But the um, newer jacket the, that came with the New, new Warriors uh, character. It'll come to me after I shoot the video, like what his name is. But, uh, I'm looking forward to opening this up and taking a check of this one out though. Looks like he's a good sized figure. Uh, let's see, we got the looked up and grabbed these at the Target while they were on sales. They had a 25% off on this, so I got this at the for $37, $39. Instead of the normal $50 price, which is a Old Man Logan and Old Man Hawkeye two pack, which I'm so going to use that. Hawkeye's Whistler as a you know, 616 style Whistler, even though he's not really technically part of the display with Blade. I'm gonna try to find like a vest to go with him. But such a good looking figure. And we also, from other two packs, I got the found out Target is another one I was able to use one of their discount codes to get a good deal on is the. Storm Thunderbird 2 pack. We got the classic Storm costume and Thunderbird. It's a great looking set. 
Also, well, last of the legends to go look at tonight is GameStop was running a 20% off sale, so I finally snagged the Deadpool 2 pack. Because I really didn't want the Negasonic Teenage Warhead, whatever his name is. Yeah, yeah. But I want the, the Deadpool. And that's kind of saying a lot because I'm kind of tired of Deadpool, but I like the, or this is the movie version. Definitely want this one. But, uh, uh, I have seen where everybody's mentioned that they, for some idiotic reason, Hasbro glued these pistols into the holsters. They are separate pieces, but decided to glue them in. And the pistols they give you are not the exact same pistols, so they're like Nerf looking, ray gun looking pistols instead of actual Desert Eagle pistols. Which is really stupid. <laughs> Why would you glue the guns in holsters? They should never do that. That is so idiotic. So I'm gonna try to heat heat those up and free the guns, but I'll, we'll see. Um, next up, I got the. It's not Marvel related, but I got a got it for that. It's, I got the new Ultimate Warrior figure when he's older in the in the suit and tie. I'm just thinking this could be a great body. I have to do a suit it to tombstone with custom the, the wwe figures are more of a seven inch scale line so have the other were these on the tombstones on the modified hyperion body which is about seven inches tall so it should the head should scale really well with this a little bit of gray paint to the neck and hands and do um, see how much i needed to adapt the the neck for the the head to fit on this neck i think everybody uh, Make a great tombstone. And uh, DC. I don't get too much DC anymore, even though I really like DC. I'm not into the McFarlane figures. I was not crazy about seven inch scale figures. Uh, saying that, I ended up getting the DC Essentials Return of Superman figure. It's from DC Direct. They started out with DC Direct, changed their name to DC Collectibles, then went back to DC Direct. Now, uh, the department's being shut down. So the, the figures we're getting now is going to be the last of the DC figures. And I love the Reign of Death and Reign of the Superman story back in the day. So they made a kind of an odd choice. They styled this one, I don't know if it's just because uh, they didn't want to sculpt a new head. Issue 81, when Superman showed up. On the cover, he had short hair, but he didn't have a five o'clock shadow. But on the cover, he had short hair, but inside the book, he had long hair. So I think it's just mainly because they didn't want to like sculpt a new head; they just reused the original DC Essentials head, and uh, to make this figure kind of cost-effective. But it's a good-looking figure, nonetheless. But. I don't have too many uh, seven inch figures, which ones I do have, it's usually uh, WWE, Masters Universe Classics. I do have some of the DC Direct, DC Collectibles figures in seven inch, not a lot of those. Just ones that had a really good sculpt. Uh, and uh, this is, I just picked this one up. This is a figure I just picked up because it's such a cool looking figure, kind of like the similar one I did with the Overwatch figures. Never played the game, but such a great looking character design. I got a Spartan. Such a cool looking character design. I love the armor. And we're, these are larger scale. I didn't know until I was watching this one else's review that we're talking about Spartans were seven feet tall in the game. So this is a seven inch tall figure. So he'll scale really well with Marvel Legends. And last up, a uh, buddy of mine uh, has an Archvillain Comics shop. He ordered some a case of Mandalorian figures. And I was able to get one off of him was to get the uh, best car armor. Uh, it's end of season style armor with the, where he's got the Mudhorn situ on the side of the new packaging. So I was able to finally get me a Mando because I've been trying to get one online forever. And they always stay sold out. So... He was able to hook me up with that. But, uh, the mountain of figures went through the, tonight, but 
and look forward to get diving into. Uh, if anybody wants to see one reviewed, especially, just give me a shout out in the comments, and I can uh, do a rundown on the figure. Uh, thank you for taking the time to watch the video. Thank you.